What is up guys, my name is Mark Wagner. I hope you're having an amazing day. And today I'm gonna to be talking about five things that I absolutely hate about Shopify dropshipping. Many large gurus aren't gonna tell you about the cons, but I think that you should be making an informed decision. Let's get into it. The first con and the most obvious is the shipping times from AliExpress. However, it's not as big of a deal as you may think. If you're shipping with Epeka and you're sending people quality products, then you're going to get a small number of complaints. The part that really hurts with long shipping times is that you're not going to get too much repeat business and it's not good for brands. However, that's not always true. I've had a customer that's bought from me on like seven separate occasions. The second con to Shopify dropshipping is that it's just getting more and more saturated. Since dropshipping really started getting popular about two or three years ago, competition has just been increasing. It seems like everyone knows everyone's winning products and those winning products die a lot shorter than they used to. If you have a product that starts to pop off, then you can expect some competition. The third con to Shopify dropshipping is that it's getting more expensive. Not only are influencers realizing their true value, but Facebook ads are also getting more expensive. Increasing CPR is something that I've really seen all across the board. That's why I think it's important to look into other advertising methods like Snapchat ads or Google AdWords. Increasing advertising costs are really just going to cut into your profit margins and overall make it harder for your business to stay afloat. The fourth major con to AliExpress dropshipping is AliExpress. It sucks. It is just so bad. The shipping times are rough, but there's a lot more problems when you're dealing with people from China. Literally everyone on there, the suppliers, the customer support, everyone speaks very broken English. So if you have a problem and you're going to have a problem, good luck. I switch suppliers very often because some of them are better than others, even if they may be a little bit more expensive. The last negative is the time. This isn't necessarily a con, but I feel like it needs to be covered because it's downplayed a lot. I was working 12, 14 hour days when I was first starting out and still took me three months to make a sale. I'm not saying that amount of time is normal, but you should still expect to spend a lot of time when you're first starting out, especially if you don't have experience with building a website or advertising it. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you became more aware to the cons of Shopify dropshipping. Don't get me wrong though, I really enjoy dropshipping and I'm so glad that I got into it. I would recommend the same to you if you can handle the negatives. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.